dare to win a world beyond imperialism. Uhuru comrades, as you know, my name is Omali Shatella. I'm chairman of the African People's Socialist Party and leader of the international Uhuru movement and African revolution. I bring greetings to this convention of the Center for Political Innovation from the International Central Committee of our party and from the entire globally based Uhuru movement. While we are a small organization, we are active on at least three continents that include several locations in Africa, Europe, and North America. You will have noticed that I opened my salute to the convention with the slogan demand Uhuru. This slogan was popularized in the world by the Kenyan Land and Freedom Army, commonly known as Mau Mau, that fought a revolutionary anti-colonial war against the British Empire in Kenya from the early 1950s to 1960s, when the resistance was crushed by Britain after the murder of at least 300,000 Africans by the colonizers. It was the courageous struggle by the Kenyan Land and Freedom Army, or Mau Mau, that gave the Kiswahili word Uhuru its revolutionary significance. It was this inspirational slogan that the masses of Africans shouted all over the Congo following the installation of Patrice Lumumba as prime minister of the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1960, following the formal removal as Belgium as the direct colonial overlord. Three months later, Belgium, with the assistance of the US CIA and the outgoing and incoming Republican and Democratic Party presidents, initiated the brutal murder of Patrice Lumumba, installing a neo-colonial puppet and perpetual misery on the people of the Congo from which they have yet to recover. Nevertheless, the International African Revolution for the total liberation and reunification of Africa and African people lives today and is reflected in the Uhuru slogan demand that is advanced by our party and Uhuru movement throughout the world. Uhuru is the world beyond imperialism that our party and movement are determined to win in our lifetime. It is a Kiswahili word that means freedom. The significance of the slogan demand can be seen in the fact that it is anathema to all the colonial powers and even many of those who claim to be otherwise opposed to imperialism. But like you suggest in the theme for this convention, Uhuru is something that has to be won by the oppressed. It will not be conferred upon us by our oppressors. This is why we salute the theme that calls on us to dare to win. It is this daring and willingness to struggle that contribute to our appreciation of the CPI as we have experienced you in the world. An old saying by an elder from my youth declares that a conversation is the cheapest commodity on the block. Everybody's got one. Years ago, George Orwell, who wrote the book 1984, made a similar, if more sophisticated statement about the white left with these words, quote, every left-wing intellectual is, as a matter of course, an anti-imperialist. He claims to be outside the empire racket as automatically and self-righteously as he claims to be outside the class racket. Even the right-wing intellectual, who is not definitely in revolt against British imperialism, pretends to regard it with a sort of amused attachment. It is easy to be witty about the British Empire, the white man's burden, and rule Britannia, and Kipling's novels, and Anglo-Indian boars. Who could even mention such things without a snigger, unquote? Orwell would continue, helping to bring into bold relief the significance of the CPI's theme for this conference and your actions that distinguish you from the many pseudo anti-imperialists with which we are all familiar. Here's what he says, Orwell. Under the capitalist system, he would say, 
In order that England may live in comparative comfort, a hundred million Indians must live on the verge of starvation and evil state of affairs. The alternative is to throw the empire overboard and reduce England to a cold and unimportant little island where we should all have to work very hard and live mainly on herrings and potatoes. That is the very last thing that any left winger wants. Yet the left winger continues to feel that he has no moral responsibility for imperialism. He is perfectly ready to accept the products of empire and to save his soul by sneering at the people who hold the empire together, unquote. The challenge of this CPI convention to dare to win makes it very clear that the CPI, like we of the African People's Socialist Party and Uhuru Movement, has accepted your responsibility to actually fight for and create a world beyond imperialism. Not only are we opposed to a world of conversation as a cheap commodity, we are opposed to a world of commodity production altogether. Today, our party and movement are under attack by the US government, precisely of our more than 50 year struggle to win a world beyond imperialism. The fact that the CPI has been with us from almost the beginning of our fight back against the bogus and racist charges against us by the US government proves to us more than anything else that you are true to the theme of this convention. The fact that you have joined with our party and movement in building a massive anti-colonial free speech movement to advance the struggles of all the colonized peoples and workers of the world from Africa, Haiti, South America, the Middle East and Palestine is the clearest declaration of the commitment of the CPI to building a world beyond imperialism. Adelante siempre, forward ever, back was never, drop the charges now, dare to struggle, dare to win, we can win, we are winning Uhuru.